do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends now we are going to talk about what is standard molar entropy so earlier also we have talked about entropies but now we are going to learn about a new term that is known as standard molar entropy so let us learn about it so it, be, it has been defined as the absolute entropy of one mole of a pure substance at one atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees celsius is called as standard molar entropy of that substance entropy can be measured uh, above the absolute temperature that is uh, above zero kelvin so but when it comes to the standard the word standard molar entropy it is only specified up till one atmosphere and 25 degrees celsius so the standard molar entropy is uh, the entropy of a particular substance which is in a pure form at 25 degrees celsius and one atmospheric pressure and that is been denoted by s naught as you could see here so how to calculate the difference because if a substance has a uh, entropy and uh, since we are dealing with the change in entropy always we have did the change in gibbs free energy or standard gibbs free energy change in enthalpy similar to, to that even entropy has a particular uh, uh, value when it comes to difference so how can we make that difference for that we have the entropy change for the reaction is given by the formula that is delta s naught that is the change in entropy and even uh, this is nothing but uh, the standard value that because that's only we have written here uh, not so now how can we determine this thing it is very much easy because it will be the summation of the uh, number of moles of the product into the entropy of the product uh, minus the summation of the number of moles of the reacted molecules and uh, uh, of its uh, entropy at standard value so where m and n are the coefficient of product and reactant that you could see so this is a very similar formula to predict uh, what will be the change in entropy uh, by knowing the entropies of the products and uh, knowing the entropies of the reactant so let us move on the further part so before uh, this uh, before going to the further thing uh, let me tell you this is very much simple to uh, understand that all the difference are basically from products to reactants just like we did earlier also but in bond enthalpy uh, it is always reacted minus product so this is the concern that we have to make in our mind and we should not get uh, disturbed in that thing and we should not get confused so now moving ahead that is the standard molar entropy is useful in comparing the entropies of different substance under same condition of temperature and pressure so this is what it explains that uh, under same temperature and under same pressure the entropies of a uh, of two different substances cannot be same in fact they would be different because depending on uh, their size or depending on their uh, molecular uh, form structure etc so therefore this is what they have said that the standard molar entropy is useful in comparing the entropies of different substance at similar conditions uh, so in this case we have an example that the entropy the standard molar entropy value increases with increase in complexity of the molecules so as we could see that the entropy of uh, the standard entropy of the acetic acid is it has been found to be 160 joules per kelvin per mole while that of uh, a smaller compound uh, compared to that one that is uh, the standard entropy of the methanol is it's been calculated as 127 uh, joule per kelvin per mole so it has been less because it also depends on the complexity so that is what it was uh, talking about so now let us move on the further part that is the standard molar entropy of the heavier substance are larger than those of the lighter substance so in this case this is an example where iodine has a uh, standard molar entropy that is 180.7 more than that of the fluorine which is comparatively a smaller molecule compared to that of the iodine and hence uh, and lighter also so that is 158.6 joule per kelvin per mole so this is what uh, standard molar entropy was and because of which we could predict that what is the uh, standard molar entropy change of a particular substance uh, or, or for a particular process. So that was it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have liked this video and you have understood this concept very clearly. So share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.